I wanna be your end game. I wanna be your first strength. I wanna be your A team. I wanna be your end game, end game. Big reputation, big reputation. Alright. Welcome to another episode of Brand Academy. Okay, as always, my name is Bran. I am Mr. Wynn's twin. And before we get started, okay, um, just please listen to this part here. Don't skip this part. Okay, we'll, uh, I'm going to do a brief overview and then we'll jump straight into the notes. And so, looking right here, chapter 7.3 for similar triangles, I want you guys to recall back on how did we prove congruent triangles, right? Congruent, okay, not similar. And so before, we start off by saying, in order shapes to be congruent, all the angles and all the sides have to be congruent, right? In order to show that they're congruent. But of course, after that, we had some shortcuts, right? Instead of proving for all the angles and all the sides, we had our shortcuts, side, angle, side, congruence, side, 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 congruence, angle, angle, side, congruence, Angle side, angle congruence, and going back here, hypotenuse leg congruence, right? Okay, so we had these five shortcuts, and now let's talk about is there a shortcut for similar triangles? Okay, we're trying to prove similar triangles okay is there a shortcut we know the original property of similar triangles is that all angles have to be congruent in step two all sides are proportional So that's what we know right now to prove similar triangles. But of course, as mathematicians love to do, we love to find shortcuts in order to prove our situations or our theorems. In this case, we're trying to prove for similar triangles. So ultimately, there are three ways to identify similar triangles. Okay, I want to emphasize similar. Okay, because some of you guys can get confused for congruent triangles. Making sure these theorems are specifically for similar triangles. So the first one out of the three is angle-angle similarity. So this right here, you only need two things to prove that the triangles are similar. So two angles of one triangle are congruent to two angles of another triangle, then the triangles are similar. Okay, so looking at this right here, all I need to show is that angle A is congruent to angle D, and angle B is congruent to angle B. Ooh, that's a bad one, let me fix it. Congruent to angle E. So, this, this leads us to our similarity statement. Triangle ABC is similar to triangle DEF by angle-angle similarity. Okay. And of course, just as a side note, what do I know about angle C and angle F? Right? Angle C has to be congruent to angle F by the third angle theorem. Okay, just a side note there. All right, our second, oh, pass it. Our second theorem, side, side, side similarity, states that if the corresponding side lengths of two triangles are congruent, wrong, it should be proportional. Okay, sides just need to be proportional 
in order to be similar. So if the side lengths of the two triangles are proportional, then the triangles are again similar. Okay. So in this case, we gotta compare the corresponding side. So I'm gonna go A, B, and D, E. Now I'm just gonna draw arrows just to uh, just for you guys to follow along easier. 10 over 15, which equals 2 over 3. Okay, I'm gonna go. Let's go 6 to 9, which is A C over D F equals 6 over 9. That's also 2 over 3. And this last one here, C B to F E. To F E, this equals six. Oh no, not six. Eight over twelve, which simplifies to two over three. So, are the corresponding side lengths are they proportional? So remember, proportional proportions means that they are equal ratios. So in the end, we have A B over D E equals AC over DF equals CB over FD. Okay, so they're all equal to each other. Thus, I'm going to just write right here, our similarity statement, triangle ABC is similar to triangle, oh, it's a bad triangle. Triangle DEF by side, 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 similarity. And last but not least, side angle side similarity. If the lengths of two sides of one triangle are proportional to the lengths of two corresponding sides of another triangle, and uh, this should be the included angle, the included angles are congruent, then the triangles are similar. Okay, so uh, this one right here. Let's go MN and QR. So this is one of the sides equals 3 over 4. And the other one here, NP to RS equals 6 over 8, which simplifies to 3 over 4 as well. So those two sides are proportional. And of course, we need to check for the included angles. And of course, angle N is congruent to angle R, which this specifically is the included angle. So the triangles here, triangle M N P is similar to triangle Q R S by side angle side similarity. These are three ways to show that triangles are similar. Your favorite one is probably, of course, angle, angle, side. Sorry, angle, angle, similarity, since that's the shortest one. Side, side, side is probably the longest one because you have to test for all three of the sides to be in proportion. Okay, so right here, uh, I can just do one example with you guys, and I'm going to have you guys pause it to do the rest. Okay, so uh, let's do, what's the easy, I guess, let's do a hard one. Mm. Okay, let's just do number two. Okay, we start with number two. So, for this case here, we're trying to prove if the triangles are similar. So, the two triangles we're dealing with here, the first one, let's make it the bigger one, URT, and then the smaller one here in purple, LST. Okay. So, they give us parallel lines. Okay, when we think of parallel lines, again, we should be thinking of uh, corresponding angles. So off the bat, this angle right here, angle URT, is congruent to angle LST. And since you guys are so good with proofs now, angle T up here, angle T is congruent to angle T by reflexive property. So, did we just prove that the triangles are similar? 
Yes, we did. So triangle TSL is similar to triangle TRU by angle, angle, similar. Okay. All right. Hello. So right now, I want you guys to pause the video. Okay, uh, do these three problems and then uh, unpause it. So pause it right now. All right. So uh, here are your answers. Okay, so please check them out. Uh, feel free to pause here to check your work. I'll be moving on to the back side of the notes. Okay, again, uh, any question you have, we'll, we'll uh, deal with it in class tomorrow. I mean, not we, but Mr. Wynn would deal with it with you guys. So on the back side here, okay, we have some um, some basic properties, okay, that we've been dealing with already: reflexive, symmetric, and transitive. Okay, this is just letting you know that hey, this works for similarities too. Okay, and so uh, we've been doing this already, but just get some more, a little bit extra practice here. Okay, but. We're going to use similar triangles to help us solve for the missing variables here. So, for example, we have these two triangles. And now, let's set up some proportions. All right, they gave us that they're similar, right? So we don't need to prove that it's similar. So we can set up our proportions here. So let's just go with... Okay, let's go AC to DF. AC over DF, oh shoot, Siri, equals, and then now let's go with, uh, what's a good one? Ah, uh, let's do BC and EF, right? BC over EF. Okay, simplifying this, I'm just going to substitute in our values here. Okay, we'll cross multiply. Actually, before we even cross multiplying, I should just cross multiply. So then I'm going to have 9 times 18 radical 3 equals 18x. Conveniently enough, if I divide both sides by 18, divide by 18, the 18s actually cancel out. So your x would just equal 9 radical 3, which is already simplified for you. All right, now solving for a y, we need to set up a different, oh shoot, oh, I had my face the whole time. That's weird. Okay, I'll go back. Anyways, okay, let's go back to this. So we are going to go with a, b over DA equals BC over EF. Okay, so let's check that out. AB to DE right there. And then we're going back with BC and EF, that purple. Okay, so Y over 18 equals 18 over 9. Cross multiply. And actually, we can even simplify, right? Can we just simplify this to 2 over 1? And so in the end, our y would equal 36, okay? All right, you guys can just look at example 2 over here. This one's already done for you. So kind of just, just read through it, kind of get a different feel for a word problem. But still the same idea. Okay, you're still setting up your proportion right here, okay? All right, guys. So... Uh, if you guys want to pause it here, I kind of gave you guys the solution to the remainder part of the notes because this screen video thing I'm using only allows up to 15 minutes. So my time is almost up. So I'm going to scroll through these answers. Okay, so you guys have a chance to go back and forth to see them. Okay, try them on your own. Uh, if you guys have big questions, we'll answer it tomorrow in class or Mr. Wynn will. But yeah. You guys have a great Wednesday, or Tuesday, or Friday, or Thursday. <laughs>